Hello, everybody. This is John Carlo here. Wanted to say happy Wednesday to you. It is currently uh, snowing outside right now in Chicago, so hopefully you, you are in warmer climates. Um, we will be getting started shortly. I'm just getting everything set up uh, and then having some other people funnel in and then we can get started. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's get started. Derivatives trading carries a high degree of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So on the agenda today, we'll just be going through Edge, what Edge ProX is, uh, an intro to Edge Clear, uh, how to use chart trading, and then run through a brief uh, Q&A at the end of the uh, webinar. Um, before I get started, uh, can you, uh, the people that are here message in the chat box if you can hear me okay. Just want to make sure my mic is working right now. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's uh, move forward. What is Edge Pro X? Edge Pro X is an all in one solution for active traders uh, with MBO capabilities, volume profile, and TPOs native order flow tools, fully functional with 300 plus studies and indicators, indicator layering native to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, runs on Rhythmic, CQG, or IQ feed, and all of these features are available for the low price of $34.99 per month. Uh, this does not include the cost for data, whichever the data feed you may use, uh, that will have its own price. What else does Edge Products offer? Edge Products offers a heat map, volume imprint, volume profile, TPO and market profile, advanced DOM, simulated trading, replay mode, cross instrument trading, cloud levels, Edge Pro line, OHLC lines, time of sales, and then as I said, the 300 plus built-in studies and indicators. <clears throat> what is EdgeClear? EdgeClear is an independent futures brokerage created by traders for traders. We have an award-winning team here with multiple clearing relationships at Philip Capital, Ironbeam, and Dorman. Uh, we have an experienced team and founder, uh, Future Trader 71, continuously innovating and building. We are trader inspired. So the uh, subject for the day, how to use chart trading in Edge Pro X. Uh, some people, when they're trading, they like to click in orders directly from the price axis or directly from the chart. So I'll be showing you how to do this and some configurations that you may find helpful when um, trading from the chart. So as you see here, uh, this is Edge Pro X um, on my active tab here. Uh, this is the ES continuous contract symbol. So if I hover over the price axis, you'll see that my mouse changes. This is how you know if you have uh, price access trading turned on, is your mouse will change to, so you can click in orders like so, and your orders will come in as, uh, your limit orders will come in as so, and you can cancel those directly from here. But to um, go forward with what we were gonna do, let me just open that up real quick. So we'll go to, so to configure certain way, like there's gonna be a lot of configurations that you can do. So for example, double clicking to place an order. I have to double click in order to place an order. So to go to that window, you'll have to go to configure, preferences, and then you're gonna click over to orders. Once you get there, you're gonna see all the different settings that are available in uh, this section. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go over what each setting means so that you can better toggle the price axis trading. So starting from the top down, we'll go and start with uh, auto submit. So the auto submit will auto submit an order for you if you double click it, single click it or right click it, depending on which configuration you have, or you can completely turn this off by selecting none. So to show this real quickly, if I go in and hit single click, apply and okay, now, if I click once, you're going to see it places an order on on the uh, the chart here, and then the same thing will apply for um, the, the the DOM as well. But we can go over that another day. So, um, if I like to have this turned off because if I'm adjusting my chart like so, I have to click once, and I may accidentally 
click into a uh, trade unknowingly by adjusting my chart. So I, I like to go back in there and, and have it selected as either a double click or a right click for so I can separate the two. <clears throat> um, so then you can see here price access trading. Price access trading, checking this enables, uh, enabling this allows you to click orders into the charts. So if you have this turned on, you'll then be able to click in the orders as you can see. Uh, the buy slash sell box trading, what this does, uh, enabling this will, uh, or enabling or disabling this uh, allows you to trade from the box and sell boxes, buy or sell boxes. So um, if you turn this on, you'll be able to, to trade from, from that area. Uh, confirm closing slash reversing positions. Uh, this displays a confirmation dialog when clicking on the close button for a position. <clears throat> then you have auto submit modified orders uh, this uh, if this option is enabled dragging an order on a chart will automatically submit the price change to the broker um, so traditionally if this is turned off for mine let's display this when i click in an order here you'll see that if i adjust it i now have to click the t button here in order to adjust it so it doesn't automatically submit that adjustment so if i'm moving my order up here it's not going to automatically place this order up there now now i have to go back in and select and now it's adjusted so that's something that um, you can enable if you um, are more on the cautious side or if you are placing orders rapidly and need to constantly be adjusting those orders you would probably want that turned uh turned on going back <clears throat> preferences orders so uh show client oco warning uh what this does is this displays a warning when placing a client oco order um, some brokers do not support server-side oco orders uh, in these cases edge will simulate the oco order on the client side um so then checking the show client attach warning what this will do is this is gonna it's similar to the option uh oco warning what this is going to do is as products will display a warning to remind you that the attached order is a client uh order um then you have the option send email on filled order what this does um exactly what it sounds it sends an email to the configured email addresses when an order is filled um, you have to configure this in the email settings, and I, I'll go over this briefly so you can set this up. <clears throat> uh, send email on rejected order, similar to the above. It, it sends an email to configured email addresses when an order is rejected. So um, you have here uh, the different orders that you can configure for your price access key. So if you in the default that I have is limit order. So when I go in here, it's no matter what going to default to placing a limit order unless I change this here to whichever selected order type I'd like to change it to. So then the shift key, uh, market order, let's go back, hit apply and OK. If I hold the shift key, it's now going to change to a market order. Now I'm placing a market at whatever price uh, that um, I'm hovering at. So if I wanted to place a market order right here, at, right, let's say here, it's going to go in and, and place a market order for me. Now I've entered, boom. So that is um, what, when, <clears throat> so then when I go to the uh, orders at the bottom here, you can configure different um, keys to place certain order types. Um, you can configure that at the bottom and selecting either control or control shift will place specific order types that you have here. <clears throat> Going to, um, so setting up emails, first send email on filled and send email on rejected. Uh, the way you do this is you're gonna go to the same thing, configure preferences, and then you're gonna head to email. And now you can see here, um, I have my, this SMTP server is going to vary per um, the email you use. This can just be found on Google. The same thing with the SMTP port. This will also be found on Google. So you'll configure this to the email that you use. Um, your username and password will be the username and password you use to log into your email. And then the from email uh, has to be different from the to email. So 
um, I'd have it from my work email sent to my personal email, whatever that may be. Um, and then once you configure this, you can send a test email to make sure it's working. And then um, upon the price filling, you should receive some information about the, uh, the order being filled. Um, aside from all of this, did, was there any questions that I can help answer about price access trading um, or anything regarding the placing orders with uh, the price access? Was any, did anybody have any questions about that? <clears throat> A lot of information all at once, so <laughs> could be a lot to digest. And if there's no questions, no worries. Um, I have people submit questions prior to the webinar um, to keep this kind of flowing. So I'm just gonna jump over to those questions that uh, some people have submitted before the webinar. And we can see then at the end if there's uh, any further questions that somebody somebody may have. <clears throat> Just want to get some general information such as how it is used with Edge Clear account and if the fees come with the data feed included. So um, it's a great question. Uh, so how is Edge Pro X used with the Edge Clear account? So when you open up an account at Edge Clear, you will be um, you'll be having a partner. You'll be signing up with one of our partners, uh, one of our clearing merchants, either Philip. Dorman or Iron Beam. Once you sign up with uh, the FCM, you will then have, be granted to choose a platform. If you choose to use Edge Pro X, the way this works is you can sign up with a data feed. Uh, you can use either Rhythmic or CQG with Edge Pro X. Um, though personally, I use Rhythmic and um, I, I like Rhythmic as, uh, as the uh, main source of data uh, just because of the MBO features that you can see within the platform. All the features that you saw were um, simply due to the rhythmic uh, MBO data that you receive. CQG doesn't have the rhythmic, uh, the same MBO data that rhythmic has. So that's why I'm uh, inherently slightly more biased towards that. But um, nonetheless though, that's how the configuration will combine with your account is you're getting an account at Edge Clear and then you're entitled to, to get a, you're entitled to use a platform with your account at Edge Clear. And this link happens through through Edge Clear. So we create the linkage between your FCM relationship and the money to the platform that you choose to use. And in this event, you would be choosing to use Edge Pro X. Um, the data feed is not included. Um, you would have to pay for the live data that you see. Um, and that will vary based on, based on the um, data feed that you go with. And if you'd like to get a pricing on the data, just feel free to email me. I'll pull up my email at the end so that you can um, email me directly with, with some questions that you may have. <clears throat> um, what is the best way to set up multiple layouts and any alerting features? So the best way to set up multiple layouts would be, so if I had that back to Edge X, if I wanted to set up multiple layouts, I would click the plus button at the bottom. And now I would be able to configure multiple different layouts here. So if I wanted to have, uh, let's say four charts up or four windows up, I could configure it this way. Um, and then, you know, basically the way this would work is uh, example, you would double click here and then it just brings it up for you. So now you can go in and, and configure this in any way you'd like. Um, we do have alerting features in Edge Pro X and the way that you would go here is you can right click the chart and then create create alert, cancel alerts. So if you wanted to create alert to trigger at this exact price, so let's say, boom, create alert. Now it's gonna come up here and you can create an alert here to trigger upon crossing that at any time it crosses. So you just hit OK, and then once that you hit select OK, you can then see it come across. And then if this comes up and, and crosses over this, this will execute. and You'll hear a sound come across your computer, and then you can also configure some other um, notifications. So for example, I you can go in here and have it send you an email, you can um, have a, a different sound file. So you can configure this in, in many different ways, but uh, traditionally this is how you would set that up and, and the alerting the features. And it, uh, it applies the same way as placing an order. You can actually adjust this. Now, it, now it's at this price and it'll execute if at that price with the same parameters that you have. 
So uh, hopefully that helps answer the question that, that uh, was asked. It says, uh, hello, I'd like to know if EdgeProx is faster than Sierra for profilers, um, volume profiles, footprint, heat map, volume, uh, volume weighted average price. Um, this is a difficult question to answer simply because um, it's there's a lot of different factors that go into the speed of a platform. Uh, it can be the data fee that you use, it can be your internet, it can be your machine, um, and it also can be how much information the platform you're using is pulling in at one time. Um, so I wouldn't be able to accurately answer which um, platform is faster. Um, so it, it would be a function of whether the platform you're using is, is the machine that you're using, if it's a high operating machine that has low latency, you'd be able to, you'd be pulling in the, the same data and, and theoretically both platforms would be at the same speed. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily matter with the platform you're using. It would, the other factors that I mentioned would be the um, play the factors, playing a role into the speed of the platform. <clears throat> but aside from that, was there any other questions that anybody had that I can help address? And if there's not, and uh, you can't think of any right now, you can also email me here at uh, johncarlo at edgeclear.com. I'd be happy to help anybody here uh, get set up with an account here and uh, get you set up using Edge ProX if that's um, what you were looking to use. Uh, we do offer an array of different platforms here at EdgeClear. So um, if Edge ProX seems overwhelming or tough for you to use, we can definitely help set up uh, whatever whatever would fit for you. Yeah, there is a way, so splitting TPOs. So somebody had asked uh, if you can split the TPOs. So I'll just pop this back in. Um, the way I'm gonna create a TPO chart from scratch. So type in TPO, open up a singular chart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, eliminate the bars here so you don't see any bars. I'm gonna add in the TPO by pressing Control T, typing in TPO double clicking the TPO and then when you say split, I'm I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, are you looking for splitting regular session versus extended session or are you also looking at um, the align of letters? So I, I'll create, I'll hit both so you can see the alignment of letters creates and shows you more of a, how the, the price actually traded for that day and you can kind of see the breakdown and then it also splits um, the regular session versus the extended session. So per sub interval, so are you referring to um, the time frame? Because you can change the time frame right now. This is a five minute uh, TPO, so you can tighten up the time frame if that's something you were looking for. But it, all the settings for that would be through uh, the display. <clears throat> and you'd be able to configure this as so. You, you can configure this here. Uh, the other thing that you can do is uh, general, and then you can change the time frame of that. So right now, the time frame of the TPO is per day, and it's going back. Um, uh, there's 20 TPOs that are going to display backwards, and so I have it currently configured to so that it splits regular versus extended session. And another way you can do this is if you right click and show extended. Now it's going to cancel out any reg, um, extended data, and it's only showing RTH data. Awesome, great, glad I was able to help. Any additional questions uh, in the audience before we wrap this up? Awesome, awesome. Uh, if there's any other questions for anybody, feel free to send me an email. I'd be happy to um, help, help you get set up with an account here. Um, Great. Thanks for everybody for showing up and great seeing uh, everybody today. Have a great Wednesday and look forward to hearing from you again. Cheers.